Reynosa is the kind of place that to the Americans justifies a wall. Long gun battles between government forces and drug cartels are common in this city, with people often caught in the middle. It's a place where local journalists have been attacked and threatened for reporting on the drug cartels. The presence of international media is rare here, and that's why we have to take these security measures. Here, different factions of the Gulf and Los Zetas cartels are at the heart of a long and violent feud to dominate a profitable business. According to the US government, drug trafficking is a $64 billion industry in the country. Then, proof of how difficult it is to deal with the cartels. Colonel Solis is listening into cartel members. Hablan nuevamente de la mixta en, en calles que tienen un código para ellos que nosotros desconocemos cuál es. These hawks are a constant menace. Durante todo el trayecto ellos nos van siguiendo, van informando la ruta que seguimos para permitir que el gente que está haciendo alguna actividad ilícita logre escapar antes de llegar a nosotros. The police can't find anything, so the suspects are not arrested. The migrants who arrive from the south and those deported from the north, they are also targets for the cartels. This year, on average, the U.S. authorities have apprehended nearly 600 people a day trying to cross the border. Jorge Torres was deported twice in the last three weeks. He experienced this threat firsthand. Y te cobro tanto y te piden una clave, tienes que dar la clave, si no das clave, te reportan, luego, luego te levantan, te secuestran, te sacan dinero. Sí, te pueden quitar la vida en cuestión de, de tiempo. Sí, ese es el riesgo. Es muy, muy peligroso Reynosa. In the U.S., arrests of undocumented immigrants have increased by nearly 40% since Trump's crackdown. Even more people will be deported to border towns like Reynosa, more people who are in danger of getting caught up in Mexico's drug war. Juan Polier, BBC News, Reynosa.